What it do YouTube? My name is Bear Witness. Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video we have Anthem. And this is one of my favorite videos to do. You guys supported the other one so well. I got a lot of likes on it. I got a lot of views on it. And you guys generally seem to enjoy the build. Now, um, I decided that I wasn't going to play Storm. Now, the reason why I didn't want to play Storm very much is because I personally didn't like the fact that every lobby I went into, there was basically only Storm. So I said, I'm going to switch it up. I want to play a different build. I decided to go with the Melee Specialist, the Interceptor, and I decided to have a lot of fun trying to level up this and see what I could do with it. Now, the build that I'm going to show you guys is for maximum DPS. Now, actually, there's two other builds. One is arguably just as uh, damaging, but you have to have a certain weapon for it. I I've only seen that weapon. I have not had that weapon. So when I get that, I'll be able to show you guys and explain it and break it down to you guys in full effect. But right now, we're going to be talking about the build that I'm currently using. I call it King Cobra. It has a lot to do with acid and things like that. So it's a very good primer build. Everybody on the team can benefit from it, especially you it gives you enough room to do some big melee damage as well as doing a lot of just acid damage in general so you guys should have a lot of fun with this build now the first thing that we're going to talk about guys well actually before we get into all of that guys if you guys are new to the channel and excited about more and more builds that i could be coming to you guys with then make sure that you guys are clicking that like button and make sure you guys are clicking that sub button so you guys can be notified on all of my anthem content but with all that being said guys we're gonna hop right into the build now first things first we're gonna talk about the support system where this is kind of the weakest item i have at the current moment it's target beacon basically guys if you guys are running interceptor and are not running target beacon you're probably in a uh, you're probably not doing we're run, running it right that, as, there's no other way to put it guys because target beacon it allows it so you guys deal 33 percent more damage or it reduces the target's uh resistances by 33 percent which generally lets you do more damage you just do more damage outright i thought for a while that I, well for a while i got confused and i was like oh it only reduces their re resistances but as i noticed no matter what i threw it at it was taking more damage so i don't know if it's bugged right now but right now this is probably the strongest support system item you could be running on the interceptor so i definitely recommend you guys have it i don't find myself needing rally cry very often because of the fact that you don't really get stuck with status effects i mean i guess i guess you could say flames is a status effect and things like that so that may that might be just my general ignorance but right now guys i really do feel without a shadow of a doubt that this is one of the best items you can use especially when you chuck them at bosses you end up doing from like if you're using a sniper i noticed that when i was running tyrant mine i went from doing 14,000 damage to 20,000 damage per crit now granted my sniper rifle did have a crit bonus but that's Besides the point guys we're getting off track target beacon is the main or one of the main things that i like to you know have on my interceptor at all times now we get into the meat and potatoes of this build now when it comes to components which we will get to in a minute there's a lot more components that i could get that can make this build even better right now i'm grinding and i'm trying to get those and i will be making an updated version of this as well as making other builds for the interceptor as time goes by but right now we'll get into the components later strike system we're using viper's bite Viper's Bite is absolutely insane, and I enjoy it a lot. Now you guys can see that it does a whopping 5,001 acid damage, but it is the classic uh, Venom Spray. You spray a cone of acid, it hits really hard, but this one has a little bit of a bonus because it's the Masterwork Strike System. You guys are getting, a, every time you hit an enemy, it adds 700% to your ultimate charge. So you're getting your ultimate charge faster, which means the more you get your ultimate charge, the more reses you can get off because you are invincible inside of your ultimate. So not only can you get inside those fights and do a lot of melee damage, you guys can also res your teammates. One of the biggest tips that I can give you guys as an interceptor myself is that you guys can use your ult to res your teammates if everything looks dire and all your teammates die do not be afraid to pop your ult and do not use it to kill everything you strictly use it to go res them because you guys can save the whole game for everybody i've been doing it a lot lately with a lot of teams and i really feel like that's something that a lot of people are afraid to do i say this because you're pretty much invincible in every javelin's ultimate but you don't have as much room to move and that's the issue and the interceptor is pretty much the only one where you have a lot of free range movement and you can just get to the people and do what you want to everything else is a lot slower and you're more focused on doing damage than you are focused on being able to get inside there and do this thing now one thing i have to tell you guys is that this build is not focused on being able to take on bosses 
with your melee attacks. Your mobs, you can pretty much take down everybody. You can basically destroy most of the shields you'll find in the game, but this is not for bosses. Although there is going to be some clips later on that I'll show you guys that you guys will probably see um, of me, you know, using it effectively against a boss and things like that. But that's not important. So, strike system. Just to reiterate, Viper's Bite. Absolutely nasty. You know, you guys might have different rolls down there. I have plus 8 speed, plus 10% uh, percent ammo, plus 100% percent gear damage, and plus uh, 6 repair amount. Now, that plus 100% percent gear damage makes this build even nastier, but you guys have to find your god rolls. You know, I, not everybody's going to have the same rolls, so you guys got to keep the grind up to get your god rolls, to get the stuff that you want on it specifically. But anything that increases damage, decreases, you know, your gear uh, speed, you know, all of that stuff is very important to making this build work effectively. Now, the other thing to this build, these are the two main points, that ability and this ability. Now, this ability, Serpent's Veil, is another thing. I very much enjoy this. This is the Acid Bomb or Venom Bomb. Uh, it's an upgraded version of it and every time that you know you defeat an enemy it increases all acid damage by a hundred percent so the idea is that you throw your acid you kill that enemy or try to kill that enemy and then you get a bonus damage boost to your venom spray which also sets up another set of players for a primer while also adding to your ultimate cooldown so this build these two items go hand in hand and make for a very very nasty combo now i have a couple of other things the ones that i am running right now like this one way of resolve really helps out for when you are when you throw the acid and then you dash in and you have an extra bonus to your melee damage very very effective setup that i have going on here now now i know from what I've played of Endgame so far, it is very hard to find components or some, it might just be my luck. You know, I have been, I've had, a, as you guys can see, I've had a rough time finding components that, you know, will help out my build for the better. And that's why I said I'll make an updated version. You guys can also follow me on Twitter. When I get stuff that benefit my build, I will be posting them on Twitter so you guys can uh, see them. I'll probably post along a description of how it helps and how it benefits the build. So if you guys are interested in any of that, you guys can follow me on Twitter. I'll link it in the description below. But we also want to talk about the weapons, guys, the weapons I'm using. Now, Death From Above, I just got that, and that's what I was working with. Now, I personally am just enjoying this because these are both ones that I got today. As of, you know, I got these Masterworks after the update, so they're even more beneficial. I recommend that anything that you guys were using that's Masterwork, you kind of scrap that and try to get some new Masterworks. You know, whether it be Legendary Contracts, whether it be Running Tyrant Mine or the other one, I don't recommend, you know, the uh, Heart of Rage. That one's just ridiculous. But yeah, that's not important. Um, I recommend you guys trying to fix up your masterworks because they have fixed them. They have made it so you guys don't have to have the shitty perks on them. As you guys can see, I have plus seven assault damage, assault rifle damage, and plus uh, ten weapon damage. So all of this stuff has become has made the, my weapons a lot more effective. But death from above is not part of the game. But a thing that is helping me out right now is elemental rage. So every time I hit an enemy, it increases my elemental damage by 5%, which is 100% uh, at 20 stacks. Um, so that is going to be also added to my, my poison. So if I lay into an enemy, then throw acid at them, you know, dash it. All of this is combining into making a really, really effective interceptor build, which is why I decided to bring this to you guys. I really do feel like this is, if not the best, one of the best builds. I'd say it's number two on the like the fun factor, but it is definitely one of the best DPS builds. Now, like I said, when I get the, uh, I think it's like the 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 Wrath of Tarsus or the Truth of Tarsus, I'll be testing out a different build, that one that kind of reflects on doing damage from afar as well as mixing in dashes and stuff like that. But that's the most fun part I have about the games like this, guys, is seeing these builds and bringing them to you guys and explaining them and breaking them down to you guys so you guys know exactly what you're doing and how you guys should play with them. So this this, this is it. This is my shit, man. I love this shit. So if you guys enjoyed this, this gameplay, if you guys enjoyed seeing this, then I hope that you guys would click that like button as well as click that sub button and that bell so you guys can be notified on every single one of my uploads but i'm going to put a little bit of the gameplay of this of this build in action uh the end of the end game of a boss that i was fighting earlier today uh the tyrant mine boss so you guys can see the build in action i'll probably just throw in some music there for you guys but i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay and i will see you guys in the next one peace
Thank you.